This huge mall in Indonesia's capital is a temple to counterfeit goods. All the brands are here. Luxury bags, watches, clothes, sports shoes. You can find it all here. Is there idea for madam, yeah? Special for you discount, OK? They're a bit iffy about cameras here because pretty much everything is counterfeit. While the high-end watch knockoffs cost more than $1,000, it's the rise of the super fake handbags that are really driving business. So this one's 15 million rupiah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 1,500 Australian dollars. These replica Hermes bags are a far cry from the cheap, obvious knockoffs. The storeholders say they order them from factories in China, where employees hand stitch them in an attempt to make them indistinguishable from the real ones. This storeholder believes most people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. 100 million rupiah, do you think people can tell? Yeah. I... Uchi Flaudia, though, wasn't fooled. The businesswoman says she has more than 200 Hermes bags and has travelled to boutiques around the world to build her collection. But unable to travel abroad during the COVID pandemic, she ordered four bags online from a seller at a cost of $130,000. My feelings towards Hermes bags are strong because I carry them every day. The feelings I have for them comes from my eyes, my heart, from my hands. So when the bags arrived, I had a strange feeling like there was something off. Like not, not like this. It doesn't feel that way. Yeah. Uchi Flaudia says the fine details, like the gap between the stitching or the feeling of the handle when holding it, convinced her she'd been scammed. But the seller denied it, leading to a nasty public dispute culminating in a bomb threat. The ones they call super fakes, people here call those bags one-to-one -one replicas. For untrained eyes, you wouldn't know. The bags I received, at first glance, they looked convincing. But after I touched it, I could sense it. I've been collecting the bags for 15 years. I have strong feelings. The seller of the bags was eventually jailed by a Jakarta court for the threats and will face further time behind bars for fraud. The saga, though, hasn't deterred Miss Flodea's passion for Hermes bags. Many people carry fake bags these days because they want one and they don't have enough money. But if we appreciate ourselves, why would we wear such a fake thing so close to our body? Others in Indonesia aren't so keen to shun the fakes. Several government officials and politicians this year have faced scrutiny over the luxury handbags their family members displayed online. To deflect criticism, some claim the bags are fakes purchased from Hong Kong Alley. With a population of close to 300 million and a fast-growing economy, Indonesia is a ripe market for the counterfeit luxury trade. And seizures in China of fake goods destined for export have increased fourfold in the past decade. 80 to 90 percent of counterfeits come from China and Hong Kong. And Omwibowo heads up the Indonesian government's anti-counterfeit unit and says the law requires the luxury brands to file complaints themselves before police can do anything. So without the brands making complaints, we don't have the legal standing to process the case, even though we can see the fake goods out there. Our law isn't the same as other countries, and some brand owners dislike that the law forces them to file a report first. Hello, Shopee. He says his officers regularly go to markets like Mangadua to teach stallholders to sell authentic local products, not fakes. He concedes it's a message many sellers don't want to hear. What brands? Hermes. Oh, Hermes. Yes. With little enforcement and a growing online market for counterfeit goods, the sellers can do business without fear of being shut down. A booming market where the line between what's real and fake is increasingly blurred. Bill Bertles, ABC News, Jakarta.